Today on That Ninja Show, we are going to, well, make the formal announcement of who won the Winter Ninja or White Ninja giveaway. Um, we'll also talk about Mail Call. I am totally blown away. I did not expect to get uh, presents in the... Um, in the mail but I did get some and so we are going to talk about that uh, and then also we're going to talk about what's in store for 2024 uh, here today on that ninja show shadow warrior collectors it's time to get ready for another episode sit tight Good day and welcome to another episode of That Ninja Show. Shouldn't be one here. I uh, want to start off tonight with the winner of the contest, the White Ninja Winter Giveaway. Um, I was sick <laughs> when I was doing the, uh, the drawing, uh, so I didn't really post much because other than just an announcement on the community area, area so my apologies to y'all but uh i did get in touch with senior crow dragon uh mr alberti in the mail is your goods your enter the ninja cold sword plus some shuriken plus the enter the ninja movie poster and there was also a certain dvd and blu-ray in the mail as well for you so hopefully you enjoy them um, I'm looking forward to the next giveaway contest and it's going to be further down the road. Uh, we'll talk about that more for the future of 2024. So, um, stay tuned for that. But once again, congratulations, sir. Thank you so much for participating. Uh, he entered on both Instagram and on the YouTube channel. I plan on doing uh, another giveaway, like I said, but it'll probably be later on down the road. Hopefully when we get closer to maybe 500 subscribers, things like that. So if you haven't already, like, subscribe, tell your friends. If they enjoy this uh, channel, they may hopefully tell others about it as well. Anyway, once again, congratulations, sir. Hopefully you enjoy your prizes, as I know the previous winners who won from the last giveaway have enjoyed theirs. Um, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy reaching out to a lot of you and and sharing resources and sharing um, my past experiences. I'm not an expert on this stuff, like I said before. It's just, I'm a simple dude from Texas that, that enjoyed these movies growing up as a kid in the 80s. I'm a child of the 70s. I turned 53 last month. Um, so as I get older, I like reminiscing and also finding people that like to reminisce as well. So the community is growing. We'd love to see it grow some more and get to some more people and hopefully get to some more people that I can interview because the future for 20, 2024, yeah. It's not just going to be about me, folks, and I hope to not ever make this only about me. It's you as well. Uh, those of you that subscribe, those of you that uh, give me feedback, and did not expect it, but some of you who sent me some Christmas gifts. So we're going to talk about that in the next segment. I'm still kind of speechless, still kind of blown away that, you know, there are those of you out there that would... Send this crazy dude some some stuff for Christmas. Uh, I will say on a personal note. Well, I'll get to that in the next uh, in the next segment. But for right, because I don't want to take any steam away from the from the winner of the contest. So Crow Dragon, Mr. Alberti, congratulations, my friend. Now we'll go on to the next segment. See you in a bit. Welcome back, folks. Okay, so as I said in the previous segment, I am still kind of speechless. Did not expect 
anything like this. There, there, but I will say this: there are a lot of awesome people in this community, uh, in the ninja collecting uh, community. I'm still kind of beside myself that uh, there are some really great people in this community. Um, one of the first people that I that I reached reached out to was, of course, uh, Jamie Hassett and his family. Love him and his family. They are the best people ever. Um, started talking to to him when I was in the hospital getting ready for my triple bypass. So, um, yeah, I was still still kind of blown away to this day. You know that. Through all that tragedy, and I'm still dealing with some stuff, but through all the bad times and stuff, I was still able to meet some really good people out there that are genuine. You know, in a, the world these days, there's, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of people that don't care anymore. You know, and I hate to get on my soapbox, but yeah, there are a lot of people that just they've kind of lost lost that that the air of concern in them but there's still a few people out there that that do care and that that are genuine jamie and his family are genuine so um if y'all are looking i'm, I'm gonna give him another free uh <laughs> promo plug here it for those of you if you haven't seen the previous videos talking about the store stock that's for sale that is jamie's he's a good person um if you are looking to start your own martial arts supply business he's got a ton of stuff that y'all can buy off of him and anyway um check out the previous videos for more information on that um along the way in this community i've met a lot of great people um out of nowhere i started getting people that would ask me hey john uh can i get your address and i'm all like are these people sending, you know, people to come kick my butt or whatever because of, of they don't like my show or what? And uh, no, genuine people that wanted to reach out to me and and share some things with me. And I, I'm still kind of taken back and still kind of blown away by that, you know. There are, there are these genuine people, and they're in this community. Uh, if you're not a part of this community yet, and you're just kind of dipping your toe in the pool, there's some great people here. Um, case in point, I did get, the first thing I got were some books from a uh, good buddy of mine, uh, Tim Broussard. Hopefully I pronounced your name right, brother. If I didn't, you know, don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, Tim sent me some books. Tim and I have been talking for a while. And uh, one of the first things he said to me is like, hey, man, if you ever get a chance and you're in the area, come by and you can come train. And I used to always run into that in the jiu-jitsu community when I was training in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It's like, hey, man, if you're in the area, come by. We'll, we'll, do some, we'll do some time on the mat. Can't do much time on the mat anymore because I'm old and decrepit. And, of course... Um, I have one disc. Well, we've talked about that. I've talked about that before. One disc that's completely non-existent. So uh, I don't roll so much anymore. I've thought about getting back on the mat a couple of times, or uh, still looking to do Aido. Still looking to maybe get into some other stuff, uh, just to kind of just kind of get my fitness back up and running again. So, but I got three books from Tim um, that he had sent me in the mail not too long ago and these were these showed up right around the time of my birthday and I'm I would have to say that I'm totally totally blown away Tim thank you uh, I started reading some of the books uh, my time is so crazy dude I'm still you know once I get a time where once I get some more time where I can sit down and breathe for a little while longer than maybe uh, you know, 20 or 30 minutes, then maybe I can start going through these books. And, uh, but so far what I've read, I've enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. Uh, once I get done with them, I can see about maybe doing a review in a future video. If y'all are interested in that, 
Uh, Y'all can hear my youngest kitten going, doing her talk of the town. So I got those for my birthday. I keep saying so a lot. I don't know why I say so a lot. But anyway, after that, I, uh, I got an email or a PM from my, my buddy, uh, my buddy George Severson. And he sent me a note. He's like, I'm sending you this pack. I need your address because I'm sending you this package. Uh, I was like, okay. <laughs> Again, still kind of, still kind of, you know, blown away that people would want to send me something. So, uh, so in the, in the mail, I got a package that contained, well, up there you can see the uh, Arashikagi patch, which was so coincidental and i even told them too man that i had it saved on my ebay to eventually purchase i was like i like that patch that is a cool patch and of course i'm a big snake eyes and storm shadow fan so i was like someday i'll get that patch because my revenge of the ninja went up there but boom shakalaka they showed up in the box that was like the first thing i pulled out of the box i was like holy crap george knows me <laughs> And then along with that, I got some ninja hand claws from the 80s. So again, more Takagi, which he did put some little safety plugs on them so I don't stab anybody. And then these are the ones with the nylon strap to them. So I remember seeing these in many of... Um, many a catalogs and I was like well eventually I'll, I'll get some uh, I did get the other other set from Shadow Leaf which I enjoy and thought they were awesome and then now I got these so my game plan is to get a pretty cool little shadow box and put both pairs in them uh, I'm not gonna leave them just hanging on the wall because again I've got cats around here that like to get curious and the last thing I want to see is them getting scratched by these things. They've already scratched the crap out of me a few times with their own dang nails, so. But I got those. And then I also got some old school shuriken that he purchased off of Jamie. Uh, he got, so he sent me this note and it said, hey John, I'm glad the package arrived. So I got the ideas for the items I sent from watching your videos. The vintage items, the Shuko claws, both gold shuriken and the large eight-pointed star were all purchased from Jamie, our common buddy, Jamie. Um, Jamie has it a while back. The gold stars are the same ones that I had in the 80s, just different color. The claws have always been a favorite of mine, but they don't fit my large hands well. So, dude, you must have, like, some friggin' huge hands because these things fit me pretty well. Um... <laughs> uh, I originally had one of the eight large eight-pointed stars when I was 16 from a martial arts teacher. I saw the same shuriken on the cover of Black Belt magazine. I had not seen them again until Jamie had them available, which blew my mind. The ringing noise they made when they strike a target is very memorable. Since you mentioned the G.I. Joe comics with Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, I thought the Arashikagi... Uh, Clan patch would be a fitting gift. You are correct on the other two shuriken, which these two he actually made. So the other two I made, the black eight-pointed star is made from a thin scrap steel using a hacksaw over 30 years ago. So this is 30 years old, over 30 years old. This is awesome. The other silver Sinbon star was made about 15 years ago, cut from a square electrical box cover using a power jig jigsaw. They were made to be inexpensive fun for target throwing. I hope you have an excellent Christmas and New Year. Take care, George Severson. George, you're the freaking man, dude. Uh, um, yeah, I, I'm totally blown away. I, I really did not expect anything from anyone. Um, like I said about... Three years ago, I uh, after my 50th birthday, my dad passed away, and he was like, as I've told all my close friends, he is 
my first best friend. So losing him was, I told people, took 20 years off my life. It really feels like it. Um, if you have both your parents, call them, hug them, tell them that you you know they're the best thing in the world. They're they're the people that give you life. They're the people that mold you and shape you to the peop to the person you become. I feel like my my mom and my dad have have done a really good job uh, in raising me to be to be kind, to be vigilant, to be respectful, and uh, and to you know, if you need to stand up for someone, then stand up for someone. You need to stand up for something, stand up for something. So I give all the credit in the world to my mom and my dad. My mom's still with us. Uh, from my mom, I learned to be uh, personable and networking, but also one that also can carry a freaking grudge, too. So <laughs> my mom has always been that way. You wrong her, you're dead to her and dead to her. So my father, um, he was more introverted and not so much of a public person. And, but all my cooking skills I gained from that man. All my outdoor survival skills I learned from that man. Um, but I miss them every day. So if you still have both your parents, do yourself a favor and thank them. Do yourself a favor and spend time with them. Uh, we live in an electronic age where your phone and your computer takes your time away and your, your sense of wonderment and imagination is all locked up on these little electronic devices. Take time for your family. You've got to. Um, my oldest sister and my niece have really kind of, and my nieces have really kind of pulled me out of my shell again to celebrate Christmas. I didn't want to celebrate Christmas. I sure as hell didn't want to celebrate my birthday. But they were monumental in getting me to start celebrating Christmas and spending time with the rest of my family. And then people like George and Tim sending me stuff out of nowhere, you know, taking their time to write something to me or, or reach out to me. That goes big for me, man. And our guys, and I really appreciate it. So thank you again, uh, from, from the bottom of my heart and soul. I, I cherish everything that is sent to me. I, I do, um, you know, thank you again. The other thing that I did get was from uh, some family. They purchased me some stuff because, of course, they watched uh, they watched one of my my uh, videos. So uh, some of these pictures I've already got framed, getting ready to put them on the wall. So I got a hold of this Revenge of the Ninja picture. It's already framed. I'm going to put that on the wall. I also got a hold of this one from Revenge of the Ninja that's going on the wall. And then the one that I'm looking forward to putting on the wall is from Ninja 3. Hey, is that, is that you? Or is that me? Is that me? Is that you? Anyway, um, putting that one on the wall. I also did get some caltrops. Someone's trying to mess with my feet because we talked about that. These, but these are the, the little generic ones that they're not as sharp. Well... No, they're sharp. I ain't going to mess with them. <laughs> I'm just going to put them right back in the box because I don't want to... I'm kidding. I didn't drop it. Um, I did get more pictures. I'm going to... I did get a Revenge of the Ninja lobby card. I plan on getting more of these. I see them out there still. Uh, I got this Shokasugi 8x10 from Ninja 3. That's going to go up on the wall. Did get another Revenge of the Ninja... Picture with show and cane. I plan on getting that one framed. And then, of course, this cool little press photo of the two of them. So I'm going to put that on the wall. I saw DOA recently because I love Holly Valance. She is so hot. Too bad she's married. Not like I have a chance, but anyway. Um, and I fully forgot that Kane was in that movie. 
So I was like, that dude looks familiar. I'm like, holy crap, that's Kane. Anyway. And then I did get this one from Nine Deaths of the Ninja. The whole Ninja Aerobics. Where he had the, uh, the, the, the 80s Showtime Aerobics chicks dancing around him as he's swinging swords and stuff. Y'all ever watch Showtime around that time in the 80s? It was so borderline taboo. You know, you had those 80s aerobics chicks that were like wearing like like dental floss and they're like they're like grinding over the camera and stuff. The camera guy, man, he got in some places where it's like, dude, you can almost see what she ate for dinner three years ago. Anyway. Um Showtime had some good times in, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Showtime brought the pervert out of most people, I would say. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, guys, ah, still kind of blown away. Still very grateful. Uh, I did not expect to get so many cool ninja themed gifts. Uh, for my birthday and Christmas. Thank you again so much from from the bottom of my heart. It still kind of blows me away. So uh, there we go saying so again. Thank you again. Uh, next, we're going to talk about what's in store for 2024. Stay tuned. Welcome back, folks. All right, so finally on this segment, what's in store for 2024? Uh, more episodes of The Master. So I will. the next video you will probably see is going to be another, another episode, episode two. So that's on tap for... Next week, week after, I may have that up by then. Um, I'm hoping to do more product reviews. I'm slowly but surely acquiring some things here and there. So I hope to do more reviews about stuff and also talk about, you know, more episodes of The Master. And then also we're going to start getting into the movies. I may start with Revenge of the Ninja, since, of course, that is my all-time favorite movie and the first one that I saw before Enter. So I may start with that one first. I don't know yet. I'm still kind of playing with the idea. Um, also, if you have a collection, if you have a ninja collection, please reach out to me. Again, I don't want to make... The, I don't want y'all to get bored of just me. Uh, oh, crap. It's him talking about ninja stuff again with his his Ninja 3 outfit on. Uh, I'd like to talk to more of y'all. Uh, if y'all collect, if y'all have starting a collection, whether if you're starting a collection or have a collection, reach out to me. Um, I would love to interview people and find out what got you into this. And... Has it molded your life in some way, shape, or form? For a lot of us, we got into the movies, and the movies kind of influenced us to train in martial arts and kind of take that journey. And for a lot of you, it did. Some of you, it didn't. Some of you have crazy collections and, and just for the sake of collecting. And then some of y'all have, like me, where it's like, you know, every movie poster I can get, you know, I get. Um, or some of you are into the cosplay. If you're into, if you're into ninja cosplay, hell yeah, let me know. I'd like to see more people dressed up in these outfits like me, you know. Um, if you are looking to get an outfit like this, Bakazori, these guys still rock no matter what. So yes, um, if you want to get in, if you if you have anything that deals with with ninjas and how it influenced you either through the seventies, eighties, nineties, what have you? I want to hear from you. I want you to contact me. 
My email address is in the contact area. Uh, you can always open up a conversation with me as far as like a comment on one of these videos. Say, hey, John, saw you're reaching out to people. You know, hey, I got this collection. I want to see pictures. I want to see, you know, if y'all want to share some pictures and video, great. You know, I would love to sit down and talk with you guys and find out, you know, that that there's there's that common bond some a lot of you here that that talk to me on these on these videos and that reach out to me and give me feedback either through facebook or instagram or even commenting on here or even emailing me a lot of you are on the same common ground as me it's like hey these movies shaped my life in this aspect or that aspect or um I was into it for a while, took a break from it for a while, I came back to it. Here's what I'm into now. You know, I want to hear about it. I really do. Because I would I would love to highlight some of you who who are also captivated by this fandom and that I'm not the only one that's talking out here, you know. I I do see other um other uh YouTube channels that are out there and they do show some support and and show a little bit of their you know guys show their collections and stuff i reached out to a few of them and gotten to know some of them and become really good friends with a good good majority of them as well seth who's trying to influence me on buying a hanway sword you and your jedi mind tricks bro jedi mind tricks freestyle swordsman go check him out he uh he's trying to talk me into purchasing this this iga hanway sword which it is beautiful. Um, yeah. I'm watching you, brother. That's all I'm saying. Uh, my buddy Greg, who collects pretty much about the same stuff that I do. He's got stunt swords. I've got one. <laughs> uh, he's got Ninja 3 outfits as well. So he's out. In, he's my buddy out. My brother from another mother out in Australia. So, Yeah. I want to meet with you guys. I want to talk with you guys and maybe even do some videos or, or have y'all share some of your content with me. So then that way I can say, hey, check out this guy and kind of go from there. I know I'm still a small community, you know, still I'm still kind of new to the YouTube scene. But those who I've met on here have turned out to be some really awesome people. Those who I've met in the collecting community have also turned out to be some really awesome people. And they never cease to amaze me. People like Jamie, people like Seth, people like George, people like Greg. Um, my buddy in, in, uh, in Germany, Frank. Frank is awesome. Uh, I'm grateful for every one of y'all. I really am. I enjoy uh, talking with y'all because it's like it's like an it's like my extended ninja family that I can I can sit there and talk about ninja stuff, but I can also talk about just life in general too because we we have that common ground with ninja stuff, but then we also can just BS about other stuff too, other things in life that that are kind of messing with us or or making our lives either better or worse. So with that. I'm messing around with the shuriken. But with that, thank you again for tuning in for another episode of That Ninja Show. Y'all never, never cease to amaze me, really. Uh, I'm grateful for every one of you that I, that I come into contact with. Uh, whether it's through comments or phone conversations or, or even uh, Facebook voicemails you guys rock and it's it's an honor to call y'all friends and it's a true honor to call y'all brothers brothers of the of the shadow warrior collectors society so to speak <laughs> thank you again have a good evening see you in the next episode shinobi one signing out <laughs>